Good morning, guys. It is officially Tuesday. That means it's June 27th, and I am about to do my new teacher orientation. Um, so they have us at a different high school, um, and I just pulled up, so I think I'm going to get out and um, go ahead and go inside. It is 7.41 in the morning. Uh, the training is supposed to be from 8 o'clock till 3 p.m., so please pray for me because... Woo, I have not been in school, so this long lecturing portion stuff is probably not going to go so well over with me. Um, but I'm here, and I'm excited. I'm ready. Um, and I just wanted to take you guys with me. Um, I'll probably shoot a couple of, you know, scenes and just different people talking and stuff like that. Uh, it looked like on the flyer, they're supposed to have us, like, break out into groups and, you know, work on different things. So I'll probably try to get some shots of that as well. Um, but it is a two day, uh, training. So I have today, which is Tuesday. And then we also have tomorrow. Um, so we'll do that for the two days. And then I think that might be it with my new teacher stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go inside. Bye. So it is Tuesday or wait no it's Wednesday now and it's the second day of my new teacher training so it's June 28th and I'm late so I'm having to record while I'm walking um, but yesterday was amazing and everything that I learned was very important and I think that it's gonna be very useful for me going into my first year so Oh, Jesus, y'all, I'm out of breath. But I'm excited to see what we're going to learn today. Um, and I'm just excited for school to start. Like, I feel like a kid all over again. Um, it's very gloomy outside, if you guys can see. It rained yesterday. So we'll see what today does. But, yeah, I'll try to get clips again today. Because um, I know we'll have, like, different speakers and stuff like that. So I'll check back with you guys later.
everyone so I finally finished my second day of training and I'm so tired but it was so worth it it was very informative and allowed me to get some procedures and things together for classroom management purposes um, so I'm very grateful for the opportunity and we got paid so who wouldn't love that um, so yeah, I tried to shoot some stuff, but because we were more in like a sitting, like a classroom setting, um, so there wasn't as many breaks and breakout sessions like it was yesterday. Um, so I wasn't able to get as much footage. Um, so I got a little bit here and there, uh, but yeah, not as much as I did the first day. So I just wanted to go ahead and chat with you guys um, because they let us out early. So that was a bonus as well. Um, so because we got out early, I am gonna go pick up my little one, um, but just wanted to kind of give you guys my immediate reflections uh, we talked about champs um, it's something that our county uses which you know is basically a way to give expectations uh, to students as far as you know how you want them to conduct themselves noise level wise uh, what the activity will be uh, what did the what to do if they need help um, if there's any movement allowed what participation will look like and then you know what success is uh, once they complete each of those steps so it was very informative and then like I said you know creating procedures as far as entering the classroom exiting the classroom when they're getting materials and getting tools um, as far as resources lining up stuff like that just how we want it to flow um, to create less need I guess for consequences because of course when you have those relations and you build those procedures then you eliminate the need of having consequences because you set those expectations up front so the students know what you're expecting and they know how to proceed um, and again today what we learned was basically it's about repetition so making sure that when you instruct them and you give them the information that they need to um, complete the procedures that you're looking for making sure that you continually do it to make sure that it's like embedded in their brain so you know they say that you should do it the first two weeks of school or at least the first 21 days because it does take 21 days to break a habit or to build a new habit so uh, it was very informative loved it and you know they provided lunch for us provided breakfast again um, and they did raffles of course I didn't win anything and I had like four tickets like that's this stuff is you know um, but yeah I'm very excited enjoyed it and I'm ready now for the school year to begin I mean I know that there's still things that I need to learn but this two-day training has definitely given me tools that I didn't have before um, that creates an eagerness and um, anxiousness for me to get into my own classroom and to start getting prepared uh, to make sure that I'm setting the perfect example for my students as well as for the year that I want to have so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video um, they did give us a goodie bag and it had like little things like a Kleenex box it had some sanitizing wipes a hand sanitizer a pen and some glue um, so that was nice but that's just like the beginning of all the stuff that I have to get so um, if you guys could go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed it um, feel free to subscribe I am gonna be doing more videos as I begin to get things for my classroom um, if you haven't already, you can check out my intro video uh, as well as my video of me seeing my classroom for the first time. Again, it's just me, you know, going to look at it. So uh, hoping that I can get in there soon because I have a lot of work to do. They haven't really had an art teacher in two years. So I'm kind of starting from scratch. So if you have any recommendations or, you know, advice on where to get supplies from for the classroom or where to start, please leave it in the comments below because I am in desperate need of it all. Yeah. So again, thank you guys for watching and check back with you next time. Bye.